More than 40,000 gathered around the Capitol Thursday. Some came as early as 3 a.m. to wait for standing room only spots to hear the Pope's message. Uh, anytime you get to see the Pope, you know, it's, it's, uh, um, it's a pr pretty special event. It's kind of like a one in a lifetime thing. I feel like I would have a lot of regrets if I didn't come down today. Spectators, like Tony, hope the Pope's speech will break the partisan gridlock in Congress. I think he's going to touch, touch their hearts in there and be like, you know, it is about the people. It's not about capitalism and how much money you can have for the next 10 generations of your family. He's kind of balanced on a lot of issues, and I think that's something that um, our leaders can learn from him. He's here to bring peace to everyone and for us to come as one not as individuals, but as a group, as one, within the eyes of God. The Pope talked about important issues, but listeners didn't hear a lecture. They heard a call for unity and action, based on love and respect. We all need to come together and pretty much love each other. After the address, Pope Francis stepped onto the Capitol balcony, blessing the crowd and asking for their prayers. He's beautiful. I think this is one man that can actually change the world. After today, the Pope will be heading out to New York and Philadelphia to complete his six-day trip in the United States. Reporting from the Capitol Building in Washington, D.C., I'm Lauren Westberg.